Enter. Wow, look at this state of you. What happened? That is not good. Take a seat. You know what I would prefer if you took a seat. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty good at keeping secrets. Tell me roughly what happened to now. Wow, yes, it is quite extensive. Yeah, tell me what happened. I don't need to know the specifics. So what model are you? So you must be, what, five years past your expiry? No judgments. I mean, look at this place. No, it's just, you, these are very sensitive things. You need to, you need to just, um, sorry. Yes, fixes like that are complicated. Could you hook yourself up there? Turn the right. It's just a hand hook up. You don't have any schematics by any chance, do you? I wouldn't have thought so. Nothing embedded. No. Well, let me look at the initial diagnostics. Okay, so you're a custom. You didn't know that? Yes, you're a custom, and you're a strange custom as well. Obviously, your strength and your speed has been massively enhanced. Um, as has your flicker frame rate. You have high grade. You have high grade weapon installs. Um, but yeah, other things that are usually fairly standard are missing. Yeah, you're missing... Yeah, even lower-end stuff's missing here. No ocular HUD. You have no ocular HUD, right? No electromagnetic shielding. Manual adjust servos. I mean, that, that in itself is several generations old. Yeah, these are standard in the most basic models. And it's not like there's any sort of space issue. It's not sacrificing this for that. You could have had all of these things. No, it's just unusual, you know. It's it's just unusual. Who told you about me? No, it is important. I don't just see anybody who told you about me. Okay, that's fine then. So how did you... How did you circumnavigate the expiry? Or who circumnavigate the expiry? Look, I tell you, no judgments. It's very, very complicated, this sort of stuff. Especially with the tools I have. I need to know as much as I possibly can. Close your eyes, I'm going to test your servo levels. They're blatantly off, but by how much is the question? You can open your eyes.
this so, so you're making manual adjustments every time that this goes off and you're not very good at it either this is something I would change you know what I you're so intriguing I've I haven't even read a credit scan on you I'm assuming you don't want a credit lock I'll take dissociated credits but it'll be more expensive they're harder to shift I don't know it depends on the extent of the damage doesn't it I'll cap it out at 16k if you have a limit on that okay good Okay, so I'm assuming when you have this whole setup fixed, you'll want to put non-manual adjustment in there. It's cheap and it's quick. I'm going to be opening you anyway. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Right. I'm going to have to do a full body surface scan now to get a skin map and a bone density map. It's going to take a little while. No, I use the old-fashioned method. Yeah, well, I can't. I mean, if you want to spring for the updated equipment, then that's fine by me, but um, I use what I have. Just keep still. Just keep still. It's hard to get updated tech around here. Shouldn't be much longer. Actually, it's not as um, extensive as I first thought it was. No, it says here that um, it's only 5% and most of it is skin deep. That is a pretty easy fix, should be quite cheap. Both hands. Okay, so you're going to feel a little bit of a, a tingling sensation here, okay? I'm going to do a cerebral scan. That's where the expensive damage happens. And by the looks of this, there's got to be something. It doesn't take long if you don't resist it. If you resist it like you are right now, then it takes longer. Just relax. It's not invasive, just relax. It's not activating anything. It's just going down your neural stream paths. Nothing will change. That is interesting. So well, let's just let's just let it finish up before I jump to any conclusions.
Okay. So yes, <laughs> your override isn't clean. It's kept you alive, um, and it is a permanent fix. But there's uh, something, the memories attached to this thing, they're isolated. Um, so you wouldn't. Do you want me to bring them up? They aren't real, so they won't make any sense. Isolated and encrypted. As I say, these are just garbled, quick, quick generated memories, fake memories. So I'm not surprised you wouldn't. But you can tell because they are automatically generated. Firstly, even if they were real, they are hundreds of years, maybe a hundred years old, I don't know, but they look at them, they're ancient. And you can also tell by the repeating pattern. You can see that, right? Yeah, you can already tell by the repeating pattern that this is something that has been generated, not extracted. Actually, wait a minute. That last one, it looks like it is a real memory. Yeah, this isn't generated. But that's very strange because these memories are all linked. So what we're seeing here effectively is this is a normally generated, extracted memory and the rest are generated. None of these mean anything to you. Well, I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before. You can't interlink memories when one of them is fake and one of them is generated. Especially when the generated one came first. Well, I don't know. You know what they are now. What do you want me to do with them? I can isolate them. Again, this time I can encrypt them. I'll move it out of your main memory bank, you know. Well, I don't re recommend leaving them as they are. Because we don't know what triggers are attached to them. I can't tell what triggers are attached to these. No. Uh, no one could tell until they're activated. It's like burying a message in a picture. You can't deconstruct the picture until the trigger happens. I mean, it's definitely got a trigger mechanism on it. That I can be sure about. It definitely has an embedded trigger, but I don't know what. I mean, I could clean it and isolate it. That way, when it's encrypted, you could access it and it will nullify the trigger, but probably. But I recommend we just wipe it. up to you. We can do that. But I've never seen an embedded trigger that was a good thing. Okay, we'll isolate it. I'll isolate in situ. It probably won't. We'll do it. no guarantee on that. No. Okay. You know how to access this, right? 
close your eyes for just one second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flash a memory in front of your eyes of how to access these things. Because the second you go out that door, everything that you've seen here is going to be wiped. You're going to know that you've been fixed, but you're not going to know where you were fixed or by who, for obvious reasons. So. Okay, that'll remain, everything won't. So you'll know how to un decrypt these, unencrypt these. All right. Well. Well, let's sort the superficial damage on your right arm first anyway. There's just nothing on the left that will fix itself. You've been very lucky to have no bone damage on there. Actually, you do have some metallic splintering on the left. Sorry, on the right. I'm not sure how the, the surface scan missed that, but it did. Dodgy tech. Old tech working on old tech. should heal him. I mean, what is the... let me just do a little... Is that an old school bullet? Like a slug? Metal slug in your arm? How did you... How did you get that? Okay. Well, I can't remove it. It is... Well, it's in connection with the splintering, but I can't remove it, but I don't think you need to. Well, ideally you would, yes, but I can't do it, and who else is going to do it for you? It'll just sit there. It won't, won't cause anything. For the eyes... I don't usually do eyes, except for basic stuff, like installing the HUD and things. I augment eyes, but I don't fix them, because well, I'm not good enough. It's a specialist role. The damage doesn't seem too bad on yours, though, so I will give it go. Let's just see about that. Don't worry about that. I've just knocked one of the sensors out. I can fix that.
you want a hood installation, right? Just the basics. Well, if you had a hood, you could calibrate yourself. And it will make navigation much easier. Even humans have hoods now. Yeah, that should be an easy fix. Yes, it should be. I think that damage is not extensive. And actually making the install shouldn't be shouldn't be too tricky. No, I'm just going to do one eye. As long as it's got one optical nerve connection, it's fine. Did you look here? Try to ignore the machine. Are you okay? Well, according to this, you have no memory of the last five minutes during the HUD install. Does that happen very often? Yes, twice a day is very often. You did nothing. No, you just sat there blankly processing the one real memory that had been isolated, but you weren't sta you weren't storing anything. You were just processing it. Do you do you remember processing that memory whilst conscious? Well, I don't know what it is, and I certainly can't fix it. Maybe it was a memory of a memory. It's strange because it is fully isolated. No, no triggers or anything like that. It's still very worrying, but... Um, look, let me do a full memory diagnostic on you. Okay. You've already got the link from the hand. Should take long. While we do it, I'm going to. Um, you've taken a, you've taken a void camp before, right? And you failed it. Good. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a memory association. Which test did you take? How did it start? Okay. Good. So what we'll do then is a little word association and visualization while we run the diagnostic. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the first word that comes into your head. Look here. Look in the center. It's just calibrating a reed on your eyes. Just a little, little bit of time. Yes, it's going to monitor you. You remember the last one, right? Oh, yeah, rapid burst. Fair enough, they are a little bit different. But if you fail that, you should definitely fail this because the rapid burst is less accurate. Okay, we've got it. Say a word. First thing that comes into your mind. Light. Moon. Billion. Tears. Rain. 
universe. Sky is in the sky. Trouble. Memory. Flying. Damage. Friend. Enemy. Past. And future. Okay, we'll do a little visualization. You should feel this very quickly if you feel the rapid burst. Just imagine yourself in the scenario as I describe it. You're in front of a crackling fireplace many years before the war. It's a real fireplace, burning birch wood which smells like ether psych. Each peaceful crackle sends a few embers into the air and they're raised up by the air currents up the chimney and out of sight. Your eyes are tired and drift out of focus. It's been snowing outside, but you are safe and warm in front of this fire. Distant church bells call out some festive holiday. You are content. Yep, that's a fail. Good. If you pass that, I would be very concerned. A very quick feel as well. Usually you need five, six, actually you are a younger generation, aren't you? Still, you would need five or six visualizations, image and word association. Yeah, so that is pretty quick. Do you remember that visualization from last time? <sighs> well, the memory diagnostic has brought back nothing. So I can't explain the, the blackout. But Everything else seems to be functioning within normal parameters. I wouldn't say you were in good shape. A healthy body and a healthy mind and all that. But, um, you're certainly not in terrible shape. You'll need to get that memory issue fixed, though. It is a serious issue. Um, everything else is holding up, though. I can recommend someone for you if you like, for the memory, expensive, like a hundred thousand expensive. Okay, well you can have their details, sooner rather than later. I didn't test your HUD, bring your HUD up before you go. Recalibrate yourself. It seems to be working fine. If you do have any issues with that, come back to me and I will fix it. Obviously.
Okay. Yes, you're good to go. Remember, almost all of this will be wiped. You'll know you had your changes. Yes, of course. And you'll know all of the archiving, but you won't remember me. But you will remember that you had these things installed, and you will remember your original contact. But it can't be perfectly secure, can it? Otherwise I'd just be making zombies. But it increases the chain between, reduces the risk a little bit, and I trust them a lot. Okay. Well, good luck, and um, thank you very much for coming to see me. You've been a very interesting case. Mm. Of course. No, oh, yes, I've got that. Disturbing. I'm glad I saved those memories. I wonder what that trigger will do. I... That's going to come back to bite me, isn't it? <laughs>